Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we are going to see the smart tips to crack a biotech research interview, right? We're going to see a top 10 tips that's going to help you in excelling in the biotech research interview. So come, let's explore the topic. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space that guides you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. And this video is sponsored by Biotechnica. The first tip that I have for all of you is look at the right place. Do not go and randomly Google about what the jobs are available, what, uh, you know, research interview, how to do it and how to even apply for a job and get an interview place, right? Don't look anywhere and everywhere. You need to look at the right place place right because the random search is not going to help you will mostly end up in landing a, a, in a place that you don't want to so yes biotechnica is a space where you can get notifications to get you know the right place where, where you want to apply for your research position the second tip that i have for you is the presentation that is during your interview how are you going to present yourself so that is also very critical because you it helps you in feeling confident right if the, the way you dress the way you present yourself that is going to give you confidence about yourself right and then you can excel in the interview as well so it's important to not underdress and not overdress as well so whichever you're comfortable with go ahead with that particular dressing and make sure that you rehearse your presentation before you go to the interview now after presentation the third tip that i have for all of you is know your domain right your technical domain whatever domain that you've been working on you should know your domain especially the foundational material because the questions especially for a research interview it's going to be from the very basics so make sure that you know what the foundational material is and what you will be interviewed upon is whether you have a good grasp of the key concepts right so make sure that you know your stuff well the basics well before you go to the interview if not please go and prepare yourself brush up all the basics whatever you studied in your ug and pg make sure that you go there well prepared right the fourth tip that i have for you is during the interview what are you supposed to do you're supposed to demonstrate problem solving skills right because especially in the research interview you can uh, you know solve problems because in research or uh, say for example if you're going to, for a phd position or you're going for a jrf position then you in your research career you will uh, encounter a lot of problems and you need to have that problem solving skill within yourself right you need to stay calm whenever you are encountering a problem whenever you're encounter encountering a research question and how to you know uh, very uh, decisively uh, decide on what kind of solution are you going to take in right so it's important for you to take deductions and educated guesses so whenever there is questions being asked by the interviewer if you're able to deduce and you know guess the answer even though you don't know the answer but you're able to take an educated guess at the answer then it demonstrates it it lets the interviewer know that you can demonstrate problem solving skills and that's very important and it gives the confidence to the interviewer about yourself so this doesn't mean that even if there's a question that you don't know the answer at all and then you know you go and take any random guess no it's not like that it's about taking an educated guess right so that's how you demonstrate your problem solving skills the fifth point that I have for all of you is to communicate effectively. Now, why is this important? Because an interviewer, whenever they are questioning you, they, uh, you know, look for skills that are necessary for research, right? And communicating well is one such skill that's important as a researcher. And this 
uh, communication helps you to collaborate and to work with different teams. So if you're able to communicate effectively during the interview, then it gives confidence to the interviewer that you can work with different teams and you can go for collaborative work as well, right? So this confidence is necessary, you know, uh, for the interview to get about you, about your communication. Right, so that is the fifth point that I have for you. Following this, let's go to our sixth tip. The sixth tip is to stay updated, right? To stay updated about what is the current progress that's happening in biology, what's uh, happening in biotechnology, right? All the technical topics, especially you need to be up to date with what is the research, current research that's going on in a particular topic, especially if it's the topic of your interest or your domain, if it's something that you have done in your UG or PG project, or say you want to do it as your PhD, or your JRF project, then you need to be updated about what is the current trend in that particular research, right? So of these technical topic and what is the latest biotech development and the current events as well. Now, how do you get updated about all of these is you can subscribe and you can hit the notification button at Biotechnica because Biotechnica is going to be your one stop solution to all the bioscience questions that you have. So yes, go ahead and press the notification if you've not done it still, right? So this is very important to stay up to date with the current events in biotechnology right the next tip that i have for all of you is about your technical skills right so you need to demonstrate your technical skills to the interviewer now how do you do that without even starting your research well of course by uh, you know telling the interviewer about practical application about any uh, you know question that has come up to you so Say, for example, uh, there's a question for which there's a technical question and you're answering it uh, as well. And you can give a practical application for that. Uh, it could be anything that you've done in your project itself. You can correlate it to that. Or if you have seen your guide or your peers doing any such project, then you can correlate it that way and then you can tell it. So when you say something like that, then it tells the interviewer that you have good technical skills. You have the capacity to correlate and then solve a problem right so that is very important uh, you know when it comes to an interview and don't be technical if the question is not right so if it's a very general question that has been asked uh, that has been posed in front of you and it's not a technical question it's just a very simple question then do not be uh, do not become technical on it right don't overshow your uh, technicality there only if the question is technical answer is technically but if the question is uh, you know a general question then do not try to be technical over there right so that is with respect to your technical skills the eighth point that i have for all of you is your interdisciplinary skills right so in interdisciplinary skills you need to talk about your previous work right so why is interdisciplinary skills important because uh, these days, the research is transdisciplinary. It's not just one particular discipline that people work on. Interdisciplinary is where every university goes towards, every researcher or the, uh, professor goes towards. So they obviously want students who can, um, you know, demonstrate such interdisciplinary or who have the interest to go into interdisciplinary research. So you can, in the interview itself, demonstrate such skills. Now, how do you do that? If you've already already done any such um, you know transdisciplinary research you can talk about that you can talk about your previous work that you've done and this tells the interviewer that you're flexible and your ability to do teamwork with others and to collaborate with others and go for an interdisciplinary research right so it gives the interviewer that particular confidence and it's very important for you to get selected in the research interview the ninth tip that I have for you is remain positive, right? So however the interview is going, whether it's good or it's bad, remain positive throughout the interview because how do you remain positive? Have a smile in your face, whether you're 
it, whether even if it's going bad even if the interview is going bad you need to feel confidence about yourself because this is not the first or the last interview in your life right so it's is one of the interview so do not fret you need to have that smile throughout so that the rest of your interview is not hampered right so it's very important for you to remain positive and it's okay if you don't know the answer so if you don't know the answer for any of the question that they ask it's okay you can accept that you do not know the answer they it's it's not necessary that you need to know every answer that the interviewer is asked right so it's okay to accept that you do not know the answer right and do not get uh, overwhelmed with the questions that's being asked and you don't know the answer for those questions no it's okay it's all right keep a smile in your face all the time right the 10th and the last tip that i have for all of you is welcome new challenges right so you should be somebody uh, you know who can demonstrate that you can welcome any new challenges because in uh, research especially you will encounter a lot of changes that uh, that can happen uh, with your uh you know whether it's with your experiments or with your professor or any of that sort you will encounter a lot of changes so the interviewer will look for uh, the capacity if you have the capacity to absorb these changes and you know to again come back to uh, what it is right so you need to demonstrate that you welcome any new challenges the ability to work in a vigorous environment so if the environment is stressful right you need to uh you know showcase that you have the ability to work in a stressful situation and you can accept the changes that happens in these environment right so you need to you know very well uh, communicate it to the uh to the interviewer that you you are ready to take up any new challenges right so this will show about the positive attitude that you have and it's very important for you it's very important uh, in an interview to show such positive attitude right so with this we come to the end of this uh, particular discussion that is what are the tips that's necessary if you are going to face a research interview thank you so much and see you all until next video